my name is Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition. Um, this is my husband Brian. Hi Brian. And today we're doing a playthrough video for the very adorable Pilfering Pandas. Ah, oh, pandas are adorable. They are kind of adorable. Um, so this is a game you can play solo or cooperative or competitive. But today we're going to team up and try and take on this zookeeper together. Number one team in passage. <laughs> yes, yes, maybe we are. Um, so what's Pilfering Pandas about? Well, you play as a panda. Who are you playing as, Brian? I'm Emmett the Panda. And I am Abs and Sam's. I'm a pair well, of pandas. You're a pair of pandas. I'm multi-pandas, yes. And what we're trying to do is escape the zoo. And what that means in terms of the game is this is a card game. Got a handful of six cards. And they all have suits of adorable animals inside. And we're going to play sets of these suits and give them to these meerkats here. Legitimate the merchant meerkats. Yes, because the meerkats are helping us escape the zoo. But of course, every time you give them some food you've gathered, it raises the suspicion, so the zookeeper comes after you. Um, and the aim of the game is to get around the board to 29 points in our case, yeah, um, before the zookeeper catches you. And you need to get rid of all of the cards in your hand. Right. Not an easy feat when you always have to discard one at the end of turn, right? Yeah, not Yes. Very. Exactly, so you can't, you have to get it just right. So we're playing together, yeah. so this should be entertaining. Um, we may as well start right in and I'll explain um, all of the rules as we play, to the best of my ability. Exactly. I am quite forgetful. All we have to remember rules. is not to let the zookeeper catch the pan. That's very, very true um, on this board here. So I'll very quickly explain the board itself. So here is the loot deck. Yep. This is the hideout where you can hi leave, you know, different types of food and exchange them and pick up cards from. These are the meerkats who you're going to be trading your sets of cards to. And they have specific requirements which are written below. Yep. Um, and they will also raise suspicion as you do this because it is yep. kind of suspicious the panda is, you know, hanging out with the meerkats, right? Nah. Feels a little suspicious. And then this is the game board that we're heading around. Um, as you may or may not have noticed, this is a prototype, so it's not entirely finished, but the artwork is pretty much all the way there. Yeah, and I really is. like the artwork in this game, I think it's beautiful. And of course, your pandas have their own special powers that you can use once per game, um, yeah. on your own turn. And Emmett <laughs> and I can give our exchange cards to you. Which is really nice, and, and Ams and Sam's allows me to pick up an extra card from the high dish. Excellent. Which is really, really good stuff. Um, so yeah, so let's just um, start into the game. Okay. So. Who's going first? Last one to see a panda. I okay. see a panda. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really, that's what you're going to do? That joke never gets old. No, no, actually it doesn't. Okay, fine, you can go first. Okay, I can go first. Okay, so mm. I can draw so, a card. I tell my turn I must add a card to my hand, either from top of the deck, or top the, of the top first of the hideout. Card of the hideout yeah. Or I could dig deep into the hideout, but that would raise a lot of suspicion. Not a good idea to do on the first turn. No, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay. So I'm going to take the seven. Okay, mm-hmm. That adds the sevens in my hand. Alrighty. Let's see you put down some sets. That's how we're gonna empty our hands. Yeah. So now when I play a set, I can play I must match one of the requirements from the Mercats. Yep. Only for the first Only for set the first down. One. Yeah, so yeah. line them up there. So, so nice if I if I had the crab there, we would have been perfect. So it would give us a bonus. But in this case, we get a four pandas, because there's four pandas shown. Do you want me to just explain this? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, so you have to play the matching symbols to each of your meerkats. So in this case, the meerkat wanted a rabbit, a crab, yeah. or a snail. So you've yeah. got your rabbit. Um, you're allowed to play sets of from different suits as long as they're the same, same number. number yeah. So that's why we can have three sevens like this. Um, so when you play these down, there is a chance that if you give the meerkats everything they want, all of the symbols, yeah. that you'll get a bonus, which is pretty cool. But of course, every time you interact with meerkats, it's kind of suspicious because pandas don't do this normally. Yeah, pandas talk to the meerkats. Yeah, a little bit odd. So that will raise the suspicion. But placing the things down, it means you're one step closer to your escape. Yeah. So we're going to be four steps closer. See the little panda symbols. Yeah. So one two three four but of course we're suspicious so it goes up by one um and the further cards we add to this the more suspicious it gets exactly um so the other types of sets you can add to this is i could add another seven 
yeah. be a different color or I can add a straight so I could add six five and four onto this but they must be of the same suits yes um you can also go in ascending order so I could go there isn't an eight and a nine but yeah. um you could go four five six or six five four um and that's how you extend them the other thing I can ask is when I play the set is there any preference for which card that you put me at the end to help your hand because you can only talk about cards that are on the table yes you're not allowed to say what's in your hand they're going oh I need a six or something yeah. like that no but you can't talk about the cards that are there so, so there's a bit of mystery so I can either put the snail at the end or the rabbit at the end if, if you I think to. you should put the snail at the end Brian the snail at the end yes because okay. I like green things you like green things yes green absolutely green is my colour yes green is your colour normally are you sure you don't put a rabbit red is your colour yeah I know but that doesn't work in this game uh, okay <laughs> okay so, and then at the end of the turn, you're always going to have to discard a card. Yeah, so I'm going to discard the sixth one. And the worst part is the zookeeper continues. The every, the end of every turn, they go up the subscription track. Us. Yes. Okay, so my turn. So I get to choose a card from here or here. So I am going to take this one. Oh, that's a signal. Yes. Well, maybe. Maybe it isn't. And then... I was about to make a terrible mistake. <laughs> Thank God I did not do that. Um, alrighty. So I'm going to play a set to the Kate and Kira meerkats. Have you a preference? Let's see for what colour you would like left out. So I'll put down three ones. Yeah, the Birds of Paradise are perfectly fine. You're okay with Birds of Paradise being right at the end. So yeah. this is three panda points. One, two, three. And one to keep a point so now it's up to me to discard a card i will discard this yeah. hint hint and then the zookeeper continues on so you can take as many actions as you like during your turn so you yeah. can make multiple sets if you can do it um and that's yeah we pass that's them back and forth okay so emmet has a special ability yeah which i'm now going to take advantage of Ooh. by sharing with my friend a card. Oh, you're giving me a card. Yeah. This is supposed to be a message. So, my ability has been used. Yeah. I can only use it once. But, and then I'm going to go straight to my end and discard the cards. Oh, I see. So, I know what your special ability is. Yes. And the zookeeper gets a little suspicious. Of course, because, you know, He's really pandas. <laughs> and then okay. I'll pass it to, to you. Me. So, I get I get your hint because, see, my special ability allows me to take two cards in the hideout as if I was drawing Doesn't. one. Almost like you knew. Um, so, I'm going to use this to pick up both of these sixes. Excellent. Do, do, do. Now. And I'm going to put the sixes down. My hand's getting kind of empty fairly fast, though. You don't want to empty your hand too soon because yeah. then you haven't got across the line and the zookeeper's going to get you. Yeah. So we're going to lay these out here. So I have four sixes, thanks to Brian's oh, clever setup. You can right. tell this is a cooperative game. Um, right, so this means we get four pandas. Five. Is it? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I can't count. So we go all the way to 20, which is really cool. And it's only one suspicion. Yeah. But that last card now is going to get turned around. Turn this sideways to indicate that from now on, that male cat is dangerous to deal with. Yes. It means that if we place more cards on the end, it's going to raise three suspicion instead of one, which yeah. seems super dangerous. Now, we still have to discard a card at the end of the turn. Yeah. So, but I don't want to discard a card. <laughs> Actually, I could make another set. But remember, you must be able to discard a card at the end of the round. Yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to discard a card. That's so harsh. Okay, so I will discard my Fox 5. And, and up goes some suspicions. Ooh, five. And that's my turn. Yeah. So Uno. Uno. <laughs> Come on, Brian, get us past the line. Uh, I'm depend <laughs> on you getting us past the line. Uh, it wouldn't depend on me for anything. Yeah. Yeah. I'd always depend on you. Aww. Uh, okay, so too I'm, cute. I'm going to discard... Oh, discard. did you draw a card? Yeah, I totally I missed it off you the drawing top. it off the top. Oh, and you're so discarding a card. Suspicion by one. Dun dun dun. Here yep. Have to be lightning. Yeah, we're trying to be quick. That the zookeeper is coming for us. All right, now so the question is, mm, why is this being so difficult? Oh, okay, okay. So maybe this will help. So I'm. Point. So this is. The I have a plan. What's your plan? I'm going to take this card. Yeah. And then I'm going to go to the end of the turn. Yeah. I'm going to discard this one. Okay. Sending you a message. Message. And then that goes up by one. Yeah, it's not very... Message. <laughs> message. Yes, you should understand. 
I should understand. See, understand the message. <laughs> I understand the message that I have spoken without have spoken. words. Yes. <laughs> I'm very subtle in my messaging. Yeah, very, very subtle. So, mm -hmm. so like, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Come we on. just got to so win. We have to beat points the zookeeper. We, we need to get the nine points to get to the zookeeper. So, yeah, no, I don't think we have nine points between our two hands at the, the issue. Okay, well, we'll so gather some cards. I'm going to get more cards to take from the top of the deck. Okay. And then I am going to discard this one. Okay. And I'm going to pass it to my esteemed colleague. So raise the... <laughs> yes. All right. So like, now... if you can wait a turn, I can do an awful lot with what's down there. I can wait a turn. Yeah, I can wait a turn. Okay, so and I'm going to draw a card. Them. Yes, draw a card I know what you're thinking. I think I know what you're thinking. Then I'm going to discard... And the lower numbers, the better. A card... We can have another three. Yeah. I hope that will be of assistance and the zookeeper continues. Okay. It's inevitable much to... <laughs> to come and catch us. To come catch us, yeah. Oh, we're in the end of sight. Like, we've made it around the bed. We can see the open gates. <laughs> okay, so now, I am going to try for the, the big play. Oh, so are you going to do the multi-card pickup? Multi-card pickup. Can I explain it before you pick up the yeah. cards? Go for it. Just like to pick up the cards long before I explain it. So... What happens is the multi-card pickup rule allows you to pick up um, more uh, more than two cards from the hideout. Yeah. So how it works is, which how far do you want to go down the line? Which cards are you going to target? I'm going all the way. You're going to so this three. Yeah. So that means Brian will pick up all of these cards, but he has to play this three in this a play round. this round. Yeah. And he still has to be able to discard a card at the end of the turn. Correct. Correct, and this all at the cost of four suspicion, no less. No, no less than four suspicion. Okay, so take your, your cards. Money back. I'll give you your suspicion, and you take your race suspicion card. So, so four, four suspicions. Suspicion. One, Those two, two three, four. Together. So you better make at least four pandas to counteract the four suspicions. Oh, I'll do better than that. Oh, okay, so, right, go so on. I'm good. So I'll start off by getting rid of this tree that's. Oh. Three trees. Okay. Where are you going to get rid of these? So I got mm -hmm. ready. Three. Mm -hmm. three. And that's three. because you matched the, the, sim the suit. Symbol. Yeah, the suit. So. We got by three. We do. So one, two, three. But our suspicion only goes up so by, by one because this one is not as busy as the other meerkats. Correct. Right, Brian. And Have then, you got another action? Are you going to wow us for a second time? Yeah, I'm going to rise for a second time, so I'm going to go fives then. Ah, but, yes. And then after this, it's going to be... So one second. So that will be three pandas. Yeah. One, two, three, but one, one suspicion. suspicion. Oh, I see what you did there. That was smart. So we're very close. Very the end's close. in sight. The end's in sight. So then... Yeah. I uh, Actually, do I want to put it the other way? Well, do you have any preference of colour? You... Unfortunately, it doesn't assist me, because I'm only one card. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. no. No so go. I'm going to discard the cards, mm -hmm. which will be this one. Yes. And then this has to fill up to at least three. Yeah. And the suspicion will have to go up as well. Was that Stop. your whole turn? Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Ooh. Okay. Interesting stuff. Because that's more fives. And I see fives. Yeah. Now, if I were to pick up a card, I could just put it down. But then it would be three suspicion just for adding a five to one panda. Yeah. What What do you think of that ratio, Brian? Um. Because we're not, so close. It's not a great ratio, to be honest with you. But then there would be fours and two. Well, I could... <sighs> we could just wait and build up more cards in there. I don't know if I want to let him get closer. I think we need one last big play. You think we need one last big play? Okay, yeah. so I'm going, I'm trusting you. Yeah. If this doesn't work, this is your yeah. fault. Okay, so I'm going to draw a card. Yeah. Then I'm going to discard a card. So any numbers that match anyone's in there is good. Actually, before I discard the card at the end of the turn, I'm going to... Remember, if you have no cards in hand, then... Uh, yeah, I know. I th okay, you're right. I can't leave a one card in hand. So yeah, I have to discard a card. So I will discard this one. Perfect. So, so then, Suspicions. Suspicion goes up by one. So All right, Brian. I'm going Where to draw going? one from the top. Yep. Oh, foil plants. Oh no, what's it do? Return the top three cards of the loot deck to the top of the thing. To the box without right, looking right, at them. I love how you gave up mid-sentence and reading. <laughs> you're just like, no, sentences. Um, yeah. So away. these are little events that will pop up, you know, that will yeah. foil your plans, as they say, during the game. So we might be missing sets now. Oh no. Mm. Okay. It means you never know everything that's in the deck, exactly. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you do now that you've got your stuff spread? Where's your big plan now? So I that is an awful lot of force. Yep. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> going to say, 
Go. Okay, so up we go. So now. So now, obviously, you want me to pick up all of these fours. Yes, I think I, so. I'm sensing the message of the fours. Um, so the important thing to note is that you get your panda points before the suspicion, right? Correct. So we can, we can work it out. If you can play, yeah. well, you can play can the five get... to extend the set. That's what I was originally thinking, but then you'd want that four and that four and that four. Um, yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> well, actually, if you, even if you just can play the three fours. Yeah. That's enough to put us over the line. But I'll still have cards in my hand. Um, <laughs> you know, that's the other problem here. Not only do we have to get over the line, we have to empty our hand. Do you have any way to reduce our suspicion? Um, I might do. But if you have a way to reduce our suspicion, then... Mm -hmm. So, he'll go for suspicion for... They'll go. They'll go for mm -hmm. suspicion for... Um, for you doing the Monte card. Mm -hmm. And then three for you playing it. So as long as we can go over... The like, problem is the cards left in hand, really. We'll have three cards left in hand then. Like Actually, no, you have to discard one card at the end of the turn, so there'll only be two cards left in hand. Yeah. Um. Actually, if I do everything that's there, I think I can go out this turn. If you can go out this turn, then we I can... I think I can go out this turn. How far are you, do you think, from emptying your hand? I only have one card, so if I can play okay. any match... All right, okay, so then this is going to be a very dangerous play. Okay, go for it. So I'm going to do the most card pick up. Okay. All the way down to the four. So give me your raised suspicion card. Yeah. We're about to have four extra suspicions. One, two, three, four. But I'm going to use my key to get rid of two suspicions. Two suspicions. That's good. Makes me feel better. Now, yeah. so the first suspicions might kill us. Actually, if I did this wrong. I might have done this wrong, we'll see now. I'm gonna go for it anyway, I think. So if I go like, um, so if I add to the fives and then I get another set after. Yeah. And then I will end up actually emptying my hand. Okay. All right, so let's see if this works. So this goes here. Yeah, so we go up by one, he goes up by three, or they go up by three. Yeah. One, two, three. And then I will play one, yeah. two, three. Yeah. So we go for three. One, two, three. But so does the zookeeper. One, so do they. They. And then I have to scatter a card at the end of the turn. Yeah, and then we check for win conditions. So then... No, okay. So does the end of the turn, yes. So how do we check for win conditions? Let's go through it. So the win condition happens now before the zookeeper goes up. Mm-hmm. Right, so I have to reveal my hand, which has one, fo one fog in it. Yes. With one panda on it, so that Zuki mm -hmm. goes up by one. Yep. And we win. Yeah. We make it. We make it. Just about. Yeah. You don't know how many times we've had to record this for the way we could make it just safely. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this yeah. is Pilfering Pandas. Um, I think if you're a fan of card games, this yeah. is definitely up your alley. It feels kind of like Rummy or something like yeah. that. Um, I quite like the cooperative element. It really does mean that you're trying your best to achieve a goal. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, and we've had we've had fun we've had fun playing it. So it's coming to Kickstarter on May the nineteenth, which Correct. is incredibly soon. Yeah. Um, I definitely would love you to go and check out the campaign and see if it's your kind of thing. Yes, absolutely. So thank you very much thank for you watching. People. Yeah, and tune in again for more playthroughs. Is it plus? Playthroughs yeah. with you. Yes. Yes. Because I can't do the mummy on. <laughs> <You can play laughs> All right, solo. everybody. Take care. Bye bye. bye Next bye. time. Bye bye.